This is the very first step in the dyeing process for fabric. This entire machine is dedicated to prepping and washing fabric prior to dyeing. You're gonna be using bath with progressively less detergent to wash that fabric into a clean slate for the dyeing process. The next step after the fabric is washed is it's gonna be placed through this machine, pre-treating the fabric, and then it's gonna be placed in the center frame and it's gonna be running through the length of this machine. What it has is little pins that pierces the edge of the fabric. And you can adjust the width of the fabric here. If you want to stretch out the fabric or let it relax a little. And it's going to use heat melting the fabric slightly into a final knit shape. This is an industrial dyeing vat, the next step in the dyeing process. The formula has been set based off of the lab dip. The dye master has now scaled up that formula for this 200 kilogram vat. You need the perfect combination of dyes, temperature, speed, pressure, and dwell time. If one of those are just slightly off, you're gonna get color variation in this dye lot. At the end of the dyeing process, the fabric is gonna be washed in the same vat to remove all of the excess dyes. The next step is to remove all that excess water from the fabric. So he's gonna be placing it into this machine, which is essentially a giant spin dryer, just to spin out all that liquid. After the fabric has been spun dry, it's gonna go through this machine, and all this machine does is takes the bunched up wrinkled fabric and it straightens it out. The final step in the dyeing process is to place it back into this machine give it that dimensional stability, and then place it back on a roll to get it ready to ship to their customers. 